Hi guys, I wanted to make a quick video about uh, the first step uh, I do in each project uh, before we jump right into uh, making this thing. Um, and that is basically how, how and why I choose uh, the projects and concept I work on. I think it's a really important uh, thing to start working on a project that's uh, really hypnotizing or intense for you uh, or interesting for you uh, because after that you will just you will just be stuck with that project for a month or two uh, and you don't want to uh, pick something that makes you miserable or something so for me it's really really uh, important to get that uh, get the get the right concept uh, and how I go about it is basically I just go around on our station and just saw a concept that just grabs my attention and I'm like, oh, what the fuck's that? <laughs> really want to make uh, make that in 3D and I just feel the chills, you know? It just uh, gives you that, I want to make that. Uh, that's really, that's the key thing, basically. That, that, uh, that feeling will push you through a lot of the uh, pitfalls and uh, down down times uh, in each project, so that's that's really important for me to feel that with a uh, with a painting. Uh, the second thing uh, f is basically try and do stuff that's personal or have a personal connection for me. For example, getting some emotional stuff out of the way in uh, in three D um, or maybe working on a concept that uh, or a concept of a weapon that reminds me of the good old World of Warcraft days uh, there's a nostalgic feeling of it just painting it and thinking about uh, all the time I spent gaming uh, with with WoW uh, wow yeah so yeah it's <clears throat> there is always like down down downward spirals and bad periods uh, in each project and that will really help uh, if, if it's personal for me so not all of my projects are like that but uh, lately it's became uh, more and more important for me to just make some stuff more personal and the third thing is basically just uh, finding something that's challenging um, because I look at the concept and I just feel like, okay, I kind of know most of it, how I'm going to make it in 3D, but I'm not sure about certain parts. I am I feel like, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe I can do it, maybe I cannot. But in order for me to improve and develop as an artist, it's always like a, important for me to just pick something that, that I know will push me out of my comfort zone and help me improve so that feeling of uh, that should be also there for me so it's like a weird mix of excitement and fear and 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 personal things but there are a lot of amazing works in art station just blows my mind each day um so it's relatively quick to find something that fits all the all the you know requirements uh, so yeah so as an example let's maybe break down this one that I'm about to make or show you guys how I did it for me of course it gives the chills because Fernando Correa sorry for pronouncing that wrong probably uh, just an amazing artist and all of his works are like really cool and uh, the sketches are just amazing. I feel like uh, this is the character, by the way, which we're gonna we're going to make, and the other one is the car. So it gives me the chills. Uh, we got that one, so check. Uh, and it's also like uh, related to Fallout 2, and I really really liked that game when I was 12 or 13, uh, and I was like playing it. A lot with my brother also uh, and around that time I started to get to know 3D and 3D art 
uh, that just got into the whole industry thing and like oh my god what's that how do you move vertex and everything uh, and 3d total helped me a lot with the free tutorials and everything there were a lot of people who around that time shared their knowledge for free on the internet with the upcoming artists and with their peers and for me that was like and I also started learning English around that time because I didn't know how to speak it or read it by the way um, and so all of the most of the tutorials didn't really make any sense and there weren't any or there weren't a lot of Hungarian tutorials back then and there the, the schools were just non-existent at the time for digital art so that's like a really interesting and intense period for me uh this fallout 2 and 3d and english uh, and then the challenging part for this project is uh maybe not necessarily the painting part or the modeling part but the whole tutorial thing and uh like explaining my processes and how I go about this stuff uh, will be uh, challenging for sure. So that's it basically for what and why I make uh, uh, this time around. And I really encourage you guys to, you know, think through your next project uh, and uh, choose something that uh, really resonates with you. So see you guys in a bit and I hope you will enjoy uh, the tutorials.